Today on ASP Cafe, we have Mary Talar, the Assistant Superintendent of Advanced Studies and Programs. Mary, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> sure. So Mary, can you talk a little bit about Advanced Studies and Programs? What's the mission of Advanced Studies and Programs? So, Joe, as you know, the Division of um, Advanced Studies and Programs, or ASP, as mm -hmm. we refer to it, is rooted in the development and delivery of really powerful teaching that ensures that every student has access to an academic experience that is truly differentiated mm -hmm. based on their specific ability and or need. So we're talking a little bit about ability, need, and interest, right? I would say interest and passion, absolutely. Okay. Um, we really do want to promote engaged learning where uh, rigorous instruction, authentic application, community connection uh, that is absolutely centered around student voice and uh, the ability to um, ignite and or carry on a passion or interest is part and parcel of their instructional program. So good. So in, you know, in, in terms of our world then for ASP or Advanced Studies and Programs, tell me a little bit about how they work cooperatively with each other. So um, I would have to say first, Advanced Studies and Programs, we have approximately 11 offices that um, coexist and cross-functionally support mm -hmm. incredible learning for children. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically as it relates to the programs of choice, we'd be talking with the magnets, right? Specifically with STEM, right. IB, and um, performing and visual arts. But I would also say we have um, program of choice, instructional programming pathway options with both AVID and Signature as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's important that all of those programs really do try to support our 21st century competent learner and prepare our children to be college and career ready to the maximum extent possible. Sure. So what would a parent need to know then about uh, the 11 offices? So you're thinking about a parent putting ourselves down in the place of the parents. Um, what would they need to about it, know about advanced studies and programs and, and sort of how it fits in the entire overall mission or the goal of, the, of Anne Arundel County Public Schools? So when we think of the mission, right, we're mm -hmm. really trying to create powerful teaching, teaching and learning experiences for students. Mm -hmm. um, if we think of the strategic plan, which is really all about relationships, uh, as well as college and career readiness with a fiscal mindedness or stewardship to what we do, mm -hmm. um, I would say parents need to understand and or have a, um, a grasp of the possibilities that can be provided within the instructional delivery models, whether it is the actual courses and enrollment of courses mm -hmm. starting at the secondary level, but we also have support with elementary, um, not right. programs of choice per se, right. but we have primary years program, we have our triple E program. Um, but when we get to the secondary more specifically, they should understand what are the options and the opportunities afforded to their children. Good. So those are those are important concepts, right? So it's opportunities and also options for the parents. Absolutely. So thinking now, focusing on middle school and high school. Right. We're going to work a little bit backwards here. Um, wh what's available for parents and, and students, and, and what would the benefit be to them? So our secondary programs, if I were to start at middle school, we have um, three uh, programs of choice in the magnets. Mm -hmm. So we have PVA available at Bates in Brooklyn Park. We have STEM available at Central Middle School, Lindo Middle School, and Old Mill Middle School South. Mm -hmm. And we have IB available at Annapolis Middle School, um, Old Mill Middle School North, and MacArthur Middle School. Mm -hmm. So um, they are a program of choice where um, an application process is initiated each fall. Uh, and if a child has an interest with regard to the themes or the dynamic of the instructional delivery model that is afforded to them within those programs of choice, they can apply. It is definitely um, based on interest um, yearning to explore, inquire differently as it relates to their engagement in the instructional delivery or a particular, um, I'd say, talent area that they want to be more actively involved in in their school sure. studies. So since magnets are, you know, part of, um, they're near and dear to my right. heart, um, it's uh, the benefit then to the, to the parent and the student would be as part of the programs of choice, these would be choices they could look for. They could, they could go to their geographic school, their zoned school. Absolutely. Or they could choose to leave that school and then go to, um, go to one, of the, one of the magnet schools, right? So um, that's perfectly up to them. They have many choices in their Absolutely. education. So this is part of that. It's an right? instructional choice. Okay. And additionally, through ASP, um, we absolutely want to look at the child's ability. We mm -hmm. want to always ensure an academic match, okay. um, focusing on challenges and increasing rigor for every child when they're able to really meet um, that expectation or that opportunity with success. So we have um, the Differentiated Advanced Learning Initiative through our um, Advanced Learning Program office. Mm -hmm. um, and I would also want to note that through that office, we also have co-curriculars. So a child may not want to leave their zone school to go to a program of choice or a magnet program. Uh, there's opportunity to dabble and um, show their knowledge or apply their knowledge through co-curriculars um, that are exciting and fun too. And they are arts and humanities oriented and or STEM based. So the co-curricular activities, uh, 
in my generation, they would probably would have been called extracurricular or activities clubs. or clubs, mm -hmm. right? So, um, and how would a parent get information on those co-curricular activities, for example? So we publish them on our website. Mm -hmm. um, we also give information to each of the schools as they are designing their after-school opportunities for children, and that publication is then submitted for interest and consideration. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that's um, really consistent about Anne Arundel County Public Schools is that all of our websites have the, follow the same Absolutely. pattern. It's www dot aacps dot org slash and then the name of the program so slash magnet slash signatures slash avid right? and that's how they for co-curricular would be the same thing absolutely right? 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 absolutely so, good and they can also call the office too at any given point we <coughs> really want our community to be aware of the opportunities mm -hmm. and the offerings so that if there was interest or just wanting additional information to make an informed decision that we are available to them which number would they call then for example so 410-222-5365 is my direct line 5365 um, at any given point they could call me and or uh, the office at large and we would be there to be responsive to any question they may Perfect. have good so we talked a little bit about magnets right as one we of did. your 11 um, and we talked about co-curricular activities what else is available for the students so in the high school, middle school? At the middle school level, which I haven't stated yet, we also have AVID, which is Advancement via Individual Determination. It really is the um, skill set, uh, I'm going to say a pedagogical journey. Uh, it's those strategies mm -hmm. children really need to acquire to be independent thinkers and be able to apply their learning across different contexts and settings. So it starts off in middle school as an elective, mm -hmm. as an encore option uh, for children that really feel that course would support their engagement in their studies. Uh, it continues through high school um, because we recognize our goal is college and career readiness for every child and every child is presumed competent and has the potential to pursue any transitional goal that they want to have. So um, you mentioned Encore classes, what are they? So Encore are elective classes or would be called elective courses okay. in high school. Uh, there are Encores designed in addition to the core curricular classes in middle school. So there's some option of choice uh, based on an interest, uh, as well as some COMO requirements. Physical education, as an example, is a requirement that we have right. in middle school and high So school. it's core and Encore, that's Correct. how we... That's and how we for the middle school level, right. that's how we okay. differentiate. And middle school, are great. which grades are they? Six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, and eight, good. And so, um, so we talked about AVID, mm -hmm. we talked about the magnet programs. Mm -hmm. What else is there for a high school or middle so school? So high school offering? we still have the programs of choice, right? Mm -hmm. They continue um, with a certification possibility and endorsement uh, upon graduation. But we also have an incredible signature program, which is a workforce development uh, instructional delivery model where children actually um, get to feel connected and part of a community as they are learning about themselves and um, what's possible out there in terms of college, career, networking, job shadowing, so that they can really go into adulthood feeling that they have this skill set. What's exciting about the signature program is we've been working with Anne Arundel Community College, and we are aligning transferable study programs and or certificates uh, to each of the programs over a period of time. We're in uh, three this year, and we're planning two more wow. uh, for next year that really do support gainful employment as children are pursuing their, um, their career in whatever fashion they deem So if I'm, look, if I'm interested, yeah, I'm a parent of a student in high school, uh, I would look up then www.aacps.org slash signatures. Correct. And I could find the information about what's available for my high school. Right. I would say not only would that allow them to see that information, but mm -hmm. every single one of the high schools have a comprehensive page on signature. So the, yes, they could absolutely go to our ASP site and sure. find out the general information about all, but that will link them or connect them to their home page uh, of the high school to which would be their zone or residence right. high school, and they can find out even more information. And we find that the home high schools also ensure that the experiences um, come alive. So they get to see right. what Signature is actually doing. They get to hear the students' voices. They get to see an upcoming event. So I would say not only ASP, but also look at your child's home high school and go to the page on Signature to really see it come alive. And that's a great benefit. That way you have different options. So if you didn't want to choose a magnet, if you wanted to choose your zoned high school, this would be an option for you within that zoned high school decision. Absolutely. You're thinking, right? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Anything else for high school or middle school? So I would say um, I wouldn't want to forget that it's not an office uh, in terms of a programmatic um, availability for our family, but our technology, our instructional technology partnership right. ensures that we have a digital footprint and that's seen across all our offices. So we are blessed to have the Office of Instructional Technology in ASP. Mm -hmm. uh, they ensure innovation, they ensure that we are current, um, they are looking at tools not just for our adults in terms of the delivery of teaching and learning, but really ensuring that our children have the tools necessary in a technological way. Um, to apply their learning, whether it be through our years or beyond in their college and or career pursuits. 
that seems to be an awful lot of you know sort of options that parents could have and just sort of like in the programs of choice they have a lot of choices they can make absolutely well, certainly that um, that would be a benefit to the student you have to know your child obviously and know what the child's interests um, may may be and then move from there and then you could certainly we could help you with that decision making absolutely Good. and I would say that mm -hmm. even Joe within our programs yes we have magnets or we have um, Abbott or we have signature we're constantly looking at our programs to be responsive to um, what the current market or industry is telling us our children need to have. So it's with those connections and those partnerships, bringing in guest artists or bringing in institutions of higher education uh, right. leaders to be a part of sitting side by side, mentoring and or supporting community challenges with our kids um, that we evolve our program because we want to make sure that we are current and that um, we open doors. We don't shut doors for our Great. kids. Great. Well, I want to thank you for coming today. And um, when we come back from break, we'll be talking with Kevin Hamlin. The Cafe at Maryland Hall is a collaborative venture between Anne Arundel County Public Schools and Maryland Hall for the Creative Arts. The culinary arts students of the Center of Applied Technology South not only prepare the wonderful food items, they also manage and staff the cafe. Patrons may enjoy a treat or a cup of coffee while also enjoying exhibits and performances from artists in the AACPS PVA program and local art community. This amazing collaborative partnership gives the community an opportunity to experience awesome food and customer service in a rich, artful atmosphere here in the community's art center, our vibrant and exciting Maryland Hall. Welcome back, and our guest is Dr. Kevin Hanlon. Kevin. Nice to see you, Joe. Good, good, good seeing you here. So can you talk a little bit about which magnet programs are available for middle school students? Absolutely. So we offer three educational programs of choice um, with a specialized course of study or emphasis mm -hmm. um, on instruction that is different from the traditional curriculum in Arundel County. Uh, at the middle school level, we have the International Baccalaureate Program. Okay. We have uh, the uh, Performing and Visual Arts Program mm -hmm. and the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Program. Um, IB engages students uh, across all content areas uh, through global challenges mm -hmm. and the use of project-based learning, inquiry, action, and reflection. Uh, this magnet program uh, challenges students to take action in their global and local environments. Um, it also encourages them to become uh, critical thinkers, uh, effective communicators in both English and another language, right. uh, and reflective learners. Uh, the PVA Middle School program um, offers arts-infused curriculum uh, for students interested in achieving their maximum potential as an artist. Mm -hmm. um, it's designed to engage students in focused arts areas, and these are called primes, okay. um, with qualified teachers and professional artists uh, to foster creative inquiry. Um, the STEM program, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, um, offers students an inquiry-based uh, interdisciplinary setting to explore diverse subjects of science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, the program is designed to engage students in STEM-focused, student-centered learning um, in an environment where passion, self-discipline, and collaboration are essential. Um, additionally, uh, cutting-edge STEM technology is available in the classroom. We have our students working with outside experts, mm -hmm. um, and they're exploring global issues and integrated as aspects of the STEM coursework. So a lot of times, you know, we use in education a lot of shortening words, we use a lot of acronyms, right? Sure. So, you know, Anne Arundel County Public Schools, for example, is AACPS. Just want to be clear on this. The International Baccalaureate Middle Years Program is IBMYP. Correct. And then we also have, um, and that goes for middle school, it goes grades six through eight. And we'll explain a little bit more about that in the high school. Um, and so uh, PVA is Performing and Visual Arts, and that's, we shorten it to PVA. Mm -hmm. And the STEM is, in common parlance, you know, we use that already as science, technology, engineering, and math. And as you stated, it's a lot more than just the sum of its parts, right? It's a lot more than just science isolated from technology. Um, a lot has to do with, as you said, the impact on the world, right? So Certainly, and it's an integrated approach. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't want our, sci our students just to be scientists in a lab. We want them to be able to interact with one another um, in a professional setting. Um, I think the, the best way to describe the STEM program um, is that they're in a kind of a research and development, a little laboratory within a school setting right. uh, where they get to pursue their passions and really engage in thoughtful questions um, and explore their own research interests. Right, so you're already talking about the benefits of the program is they get to collaborate with other students and work on a project that's sort of external to them. Um, so can you talk about some other benefits of the magnet programs that we have? Uh, certainly. Um, so they provide opportunities for students to apply theory 
and knowledge uh, towards building their skills, right. um, but also in an environment that allows them to move beyond the theoretical, uh, using their hands-on um, and real-world experiences. Um, teachers uh, bring to the table a blend of interdisciplinary approaches to the curriculum, right. so it looks a little different than the traditional classroom model. Um, it promotes critical thinking and effective communication, those 21st century skills that are critical for student success. Right. And finally, um, our magnet programs prepare students for their future beyond high school, mm -hmm. um, uh, getting them to engage with professionals in the field, um, allowing them for uh, career skill development, um, such as resume writing, um, professional interviewing, um, and professional ethics specific to the field of uh, the program. Right. Um, we provide opportunities for college visits, uh, networking, job shadows, um, there's required internship experiences, and we're really at the cutting edge of uh, opportunities in the artistic world, but also in the uh, science, technology, engineering, and math sphere. Right, no, understood. And also, you know, if you're thinking about it, so in middle school um, is grade is grade six, seven, and eight, right? Correct. So, um, you know, we can talk a little bit more about that in our uh, uh, when we come back from break about the application part of it. Um, but we're also looking at uh, middle school fosters some of the soft skills. So you said collaboration, and so knowing how to knowing how to greet and meet people, mm -hmm. knowing how to work in an environment where not only your passion is sort of uh, fostered, but also uh, you know how you interact with other people, right? Correct. So I mean, we want that to be the reason that the students get out of bed, come to school every day, right. is because they're passionate about what they're learning. Right. It's not just open up a textbook or you know a, a lecture-driven environment. It's really students taking ownership of their education. Um, pursuing their interests, and then with the availability of all the technology right. and the access to professionals in their field of interest, that is really what we're hoping drives their passion and interest. Wow, very cool. Great. So can you talk a little bit more about the high school programs now? Certainly. Mm -hmm. So we offer the same programs uh, at high school, mm -hmm. the high school level, the International Baccalaureate, the Performing Visual Arts, right. and the STEM program. Um, th there's an enhancement to the STEM program that's available only at Glen Burnie High School. Mm -hmm. That's the um, a, a biomedical and allied health magnet. Mm -hmm. um, and that's different from STEM, obviously, because of its focus in the medical field um, in, in a similar fashion to the experiences that we provide students at middle school. Um, we give these students at the high school level access to professionals. Um, it's a rigorous environment in high school, um, but we also are conscious of students transitioning from high school to college and career after graduation. Right. So really trying to set them up for success in those career pathways that they've chosen. Right. So you've got STEM has actually then two high school foci. So it's one is at STEM biomedical mm -hmm. and the other one is STEM non-biomedical if you want to look at those things. And right. they have, um, and they, my understanding is they have pathways also within the STEM mm -hmm. that they could, uh, five different sort of courses of study that they could pursue mm -hmm. in the STEM program. And the International Baccalaureate, um, I know that there's an also a diploma program part of this. So right. we talked uh, earlier about the middle years program in IB grades six through eight. Well, the middle years program continues in grades nine and 10, right? Correct. And what's, what's for the 11th and 12th graders then? So as students, they complete the middle years program, mm -hmm. um, they can opt into the diploma program, which mm -hmm. is for grades 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a rigorous um, college preparatory program. Students uh, take courses that are similar um, to what most students take in the AP environment, mm -hmm. uh, with the IB focus, of course. And there are examinations uh, towards the end of those IB diploma uh, program classes. Right. And if students are dedicated and they challenge themselves, they can earn the IB diploma um, mm -hmm. at, uh, upon graduation. And that's widely recognized as a very um, incredible uh, certification um, by all of our colleges and universities in the United States. Right. And, it's, and it's globally recognized, so that's, that's an added benefit for the, for the students and parents. Right? Absolutely. And both that's great. Good. When we come back from break, we'll talk a little bit more about the application process and, and uh, how students can get involved in this, uh, in our magnet application process and the magnet programs. Wonderful. Great. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeannie Porter. Anne Arundel County Public Schools Department of Transportation is raising the level of awareness for the safety of your children as we transport them to and from school. When a school bus stops to load students, as a driver, this is what you will see. At 150 feet, the bus will activate hazard lights. At 100 feet, the bus driver will activate the amber lights. They will start slowing down. At 10 feet before the bus stops, they will turn on the red bus lights. Their stop sign will come out. 
and students will begin to load. Once all students are on board safely, the bus driver will turn off red lights and move forward. At this time, it is safe for the motorist to resume movement. Today I come to you with exciting news about school meals. Breakfast is offered in all schools every day. At lunch, students are offered at least four different entrees, many different types of whole grains, and unlimited choices of fresh fruits and vegetables. Students are encouraged to select up to two cups of fresh produce or to fill half of their tray at lunch from our unique salad bars. You may also monitor your child's school meals account online at My Payments Plus. This is a convenient tool it's offered to all parents to make managing your school meals account a simple process. To learn more about My Payments Plus, simply visit www.mypaymentsplus.com or call 877-237-0946. Registration is free and quick, so get started today. Each year, families have the ability to apply for free or reduced price meals. The application to apply is online. Parents, you may log on to applyformeals.aacps.org. This process is fast, it's easy, convenient, and it's accessible from any computer. Remember, if you received meal benefits last year, you must complete a new application each school year. Thank you for this opportunity to provide this valuable information pertaining to school meals. School meals fuel your child's brain and body for academic success. If you have any questions regarding the healthy school meals offered in Anne Arundel County Public Schools, please contact me directly at 410-222-5900. Thanks again and have a great school year. Welcome back and Dr. Kevin Hamlin is still my guest and we're going to talk a little bit more about the magnet application process. Kevin, do you have any questions for me at all? Well, certainly, as a high school parent mm -hmm. and a middle school parent myself, I'm er interested in knowing uh, who applies for magnet programs. Sure. So, basic in, in Anne Arundel County Public Schools, all fifth graders who are eligible and all eighth graders who are eligible can apply for a magnet program. In addition, some programs have an application process in grade six, and that would be the International Baccalaureate Middle Years Program, or IBMYP and then also the performing visual arts and that's PVA as we as we know so again everybody in grades five and eight can apply and in addition they have um, for grades uh, six mm -hmm. for IB and YP and then PVA for high school everybody in grade eight can apply to go to high school in addition um, the, the students who apply to want are interested in the performing visual arts at grade nine can apply um, and also for grade 10 going into grade 11 for the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. We talked a little bit earlier about IB having two different branches, NYP and then the DP, the Diploma Program. Grade 10 going into grade 11 is the Diploma Program. So, um, and the best bet actually to, you know, to, for this information is to go to the website www.aacps.org slash magnet, singular magnet. And that'll give you all the information for who can apply and um, you know and and, the, and those periods. So right. that's that's a relatively uh, that, that's the longer answer for everybody grades five and eight. And there's some special special years too for others who want to come in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting myself in the position of a parent or a student who's interested in the program. Okay. Now you mentioned the website address. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, but what are the steps in the application process? Where do they go to access that information? Right. So um, for for a student and a parent to get ready. Um, you need to know your SIF number. We call it the lunch number or your student ID. It's a six-digit number. Usually begins with the number six or seven. And um, they need, the student needs to know that because that identifies the student for the application. And also the password the student uses to access the computers at school. So the, the, those are the two bits of information. If a student is not currently in Anne Arundel County Public Schools, the student can create his or her own um, uh, username and password. Right? But the SIF, the, that lunch number, plus the, plus the password. What I recommend is that students and parents apply for the password reset that will allow them to do it. The Magnet Office doesn't, it, cannot uh, reset passwords. Mm -hmm. It'll make it easier and, and a smoother transition. So that's what you need to know. Um, you also need to know um, uh, the dates of application for the 2019-2020 school year. It be, uh, the application's open on October 14th, that's Monday at noon, and they close on November 26th, uh, 2019, at, also at noon and that's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So in, in larger terms, if parents apply around Halloween, uh, between Halloween and Thanksgiving, that will give you the time frame that they can remember. Okay. So the dates are, you know, it's the, the second Monday in October through the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. 
Uh -huh. Okay. So what might be involved uh, with the application process beyond just filling out the application right. online? Right. So the, the, there are a couple parts to this. So um, a student has to have interest and in, in, in sort of look through which of the programs interests him or her, right? So one of the things I would do is look at the Magnet website and uh, click on the brochure there. There's an uh, uh, extensive brochure that has all the qualifications. Find out, discern um, what you're interested in. Um, and it's not a problem for uh, discerning, you know, sort of your interest now in October, and then, you know, when you get final word of uh, acceptance into a program, there's not a problem with saying, you know, I, I'm not interested in that anymore. In October, I was a different person. Mm -hmm. and so that, that happens. You know, you're a, you're a parent of a, both a middle school and a high schooler, so th they will change between now and, you know, be the beginning of the n new year. Um, <coughs> one of the things that uh, parents and students can talk about is, Go to the sessions. Mm -hmm. um, there are each school has its own information session or an expo, and in, in it's the terms that IB uses for them. Um, it's it published on the Magnet website. It, the, um, students, eligible students, would have received a letter already this year too, and it's got a chart there s saying these are the nights we have these uh, information sessions. Mm -hmm. um, and please go to l go to any and all. If that can't happen, <coughs> one of the other things that a parent might do is go to that same Magnet website at the bottom of the page. Uh, there's a video there, and then it's about an eight-minute video, and it explains exactly what the process is, which programs are available, and what the parents need to know. So that's, and so to sum up, you need to know your SIF, n the lunch number, the ID, student ID, a password, um, apply. You have to know which program you want to apply to, and it's um, by zoned school, so it's by the zoned middle school. So let's just say I live in Hanover. My zone middle school would probably be MacArthur Middle, so I'd know I'd, ha I'd have to then apply to the schools I'd be applying to are in that area, right? Okay. So, and the the magnet school may not be the normal zone school, right? So that's that's what the um, that's what the families have to de decide on whether this is something they want to do or not do. Okay. So, what are the types <coughs> of questions do you get from parents? What else do they need to know about the process? Um, near years right. of experience with the application sure. procedure. Sure. So the process is the waiting part. So the, the patients, mm -hmm. if I could, um, you know, one thing that's like, it's going to take a little bit. You apply on October 14th. You really won't hear anything much from us until eligibility, which is done typically at the end of January. Some more on Martin Luther King Day. Just after that, we tell uh, parents and students uh, we've deemed you eligible or not. Ineligible parents have the right to appeal, so we give them a 10 day window for that. And then, then, then they go to lottery, and it's an open uh, lottery. It's not weighted for any reason. The fact that a student has been in a magnet program or not, the fact that the student's coming from the outside is new here this year is not. All those things are patience. Um, but the lottery is the <coughs> probably the biggest question I get. Um, it is an open, unweighted lottery. Our philosophy in Anne Arundel County Public Schools is all means all. All students who are eligible have the opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's what we really believe in. We're doing the best for children. So this is definitely um, has the all children. We have to we have to take care of all children. Um, typically, we get around 5,000 applications, right? From uh, fewer fewer number of applicants, singular applicants, but 5,000 applications, and they students may apply for as many um, for as many programs as they're eligible for and they're interested in. So. Uh, students don't have to limit themselves at this point in the year mm -hmm. to what they want. So th those are the two biggest things I get. Um, okay. Perhaps transportation too is another question I get. There are there is transportation provided from consolidated bus stops. They may not be in ordinary walking distances, and the parents may have to support with um, you know with a um, with a ride or something to that bus stop. But they're usually at elementary schools and libraries. That's what they try to do, mm -hmm. and the transportation office sets that in August of the incoming year. Okay. Um, anything <coughs> else that you think that an aspiring student or a student considering the magnet programs right. would like to know? Um, wh what would be a benefit to them um, when you go out and see students in schools? What do they tell you? So the best thing is they can talk to other students. And please go to those uh, information nights or the expos. Mm -hmm. Those are the places that they really need to be. Um, talk with other students and see what they like about it. Go visit the schools right. and see what they can do to find out the information. If, if it feels right, that may be an indication that they should really, you know, sort of, um, they should apply to that program. And again, they'll, they'll know something more later on. Um, Kevin, I want to thank you for talking to me a little bit. It's you know, um, and uh, well, next and the next, uh, you know. Next time we'll talk a little bit more about, um, you know, sort of continuing the magnet and what uh, the advanced studies and program the office has to offer for parents and students in Anne Arundel County. Well, thanks for having me today, Joe. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Thank you.